Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Forever. When it's not, the America is not going to last forever according to the Bible. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So it says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. These nations have taken crafty counsel. America has taken crafty counsel against the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Bring it up. That's why no matter where you go in the United States, we are at the bottom. No matter where you go anywhere, we go, we are at the bottom. We fight each other, we're killing each other. When you go to Detroit, we're doing the same thing we're doing here in Chicago. It might be a little lighter, it might be a little heavier, but we're still doing the same thing. We're killing each other. The blacks fight against the blacks. The Hispanics fight against the blacks. We fight against each other for nothing. Right. But why is, this, why is these things happening? Read that again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and custodian against thy hated ones. So it says, the Bible says that they have taken crafty counsel. We were talking about the civil rights movement, the Black Panther movement, all of those things we got, we got, we came together and we was rising up, but then it just faltered, everything fell faltered away. That was as a result of crafty counsel. They sent COINTELPRO in. They sent the feds in. They, they sent them in to divide us against one another. So that no longer are we fighting against our oppression. We're not fighting against the things that's oppressing us. Now we fight against each other. When we both oppressed. I can't pay my bills, you can't pay your bills, but we fight against each other. What sense does that make? What problems that gonna solve? That's not gonna solve no problems. It's gonna create more oppression. Right. More of our men gonna be in the jail. If you and I, if you if you oppressed and I'm oppressed, if you have a hard time finding a job and I have a hard time finding a job, why don't we instead of selling drugs and killing off our people, why don't we come together? Why don't we come together and start a business? That's right. Most of us are handy with our hands. Why don't we come together and stop working at the alley for low prices, pick the cars? Stop, stop working out the alley, fixing on cars for, for a case of beer. Right. For a bottle of wine. No, why don't we come together, put, put, put our little, the little resources that we do have together and go buy a building where we can have an auto mechanic shop. Now the community can come to us and get their cars fixed. Right. And that's gonna help us and that's gonna help our community. A huge level of crafty counsel has been done on the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. A plot and plan to keep us divided has been has been set up and it's still running rampant in our community because we still run around hating each other. Breathe. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and custodian against thy hated ones. And the crazy thing about it, they take a crafty council. This crafty council goes so deep that you got to you have a Christian church on. Then it be one Christian church on this corner, and then right across, right next to it is another Christian church. What type of division is that? Why do you need two churches right next to each other? And they both all they doing is asking you for your tithes, but telling them to, telling them the laws are done away with. Right. So if the laws are done away with, why are you still tithing? We have been divided on every plot, every corner. My brother, you got a moment? 
We have been divided on every way you can look at it. My brother, come over here and rap with us, man. Come on, man, you got some time. You believe in God? Yeah, I believe in God. Listen to it. Hey, John 8, 47. Listen to me real quick. I want to I want to I want to show you something. But you said you're gonna celebrate your birthday. You know, you say you believe in God, alright? Let me show you something. Give me five minutes, bro. Five minutes. I know you got five minutes. Come on, man, real quick. Listen to this. Read. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 47. Bring it out. He that is of God. So you, you say you love God? So it says he that is of God. Read. Hear of God's words. Here is God's word. What we teach, what we talking about is God's word. So if you hear, if you of God, give us a moment to show you God's word. All right, read. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. So it says, if you don't want to hear God's word, you're too busy to hear God's word. You're not of God. So give us a moment of time. Come closer, bro. What's your name? Say it again. Josh? Okay, Josh, I want to show you something. Give me that in Joel. Joel chapter 1. Because you said, everybody, say, today your birthday? Tomorrow your birthday you celebrating today. Where, where did celebrating birthdays come from? Bring it up! Huh? So, with, so are you going to be, are you going to be born again tomorrow? You going to go back in your mother's room and get birth? So, the day you was born is the day you was born. How old are you? You're about to be 24. So 24 years ago you was born. But what we do, we follow after this custom of being born. Like it's my birthday. And we celebrate the year after year after year. You was only born once. Your age has increased, but you, you, ain't been, you haven't been born every day. Every, every year on that day. But we're going to show you something. Read what you got. Because, the Bible, because according to the Bible, Birthdays are idolatry. You're idolizing yourself on your birthday. And the God, the most high God is not with that. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 1. There was a man in the name of us whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright, and one that feared God and showed evil. Now give me, uh, yeah. Okay. So this is about the prophet Job. It says he was perfect in the sight of God, meaning he kept God's commandments. You familiar with Job? You, you heard of it? So this is, a, this is Job out of the Bible. Listen up. Read. Verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. He said, Job, he says his sons went and feasted in their houses. What was they, what was the feast about? Read. Everyone is day. What do we generally, what do we mostly call our birthday today? Oh, uh, that's my day. Hey, you know it's my birthday coming up. That's my day. This is the Bible we read now. Uh, read, read it again. And his sons went and feasted in their houses. Everyone is day. What they were doing? What club? On your on your birthday, what you do? Club and going to this club, going to that club. You got some liquor. You got some girl. You go. You party. You feasting. Let's read. And sit and call for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And that's what we do today. We call all our family. We got a big birthday party. Hey, man, I'm going to be at this club. Hey, comedy is going down. That's what we do, right? Read. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that Job sick and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and curse God in their hearts. So Job prayed for his sons and daughters because in his mind, he like, man, some man right, my, my sons and my daughters are not living uprightly like they're supposed to. They're doing something wicked. So I'm going to send up prayers for them. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 send up prayers for them. I'm going to do this. Okay, verse 13. And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. So this is fast forward a little bit. So we just read, they were celebrating their birthday, right? Read. Verse 15, and the salvation fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And I only am escaped to death tell thee alone. So the servant has, had escaped to tell Job that, hey, they just killed everybody in that house. They came upon them and killed them. Why? That's judgment. 
because they were celebrating their birthday. That's not our custom. You an Israelite according to this Bible. That's right. Celebrating your birthday is not a custom. That's not our custom. Read. Verse 18. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house. And it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Verse 18, while he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. So, brother, remember this. We were put to death. When we read right here, they were put to death for celebrating their birthday. That's right. That goes against God's commandment. You say you love God, you say you love God, you love God. Brother, make sure you say these to what the Bible says. Don't follow after what men say. Don't follow after what men say. Don't follow after just the, the customs and the things. Because at a lot of house parties and birthday parties, what happens? Fights. Fights. Brothers get shot up, why? They fight, they hate each other. You mean it's, a, it's an evil spirit that's behind birthday. It's not our custom, my brother. It's not our custom. Read that what you got. Listen up as you, you can still hear as you go on, but make sure you read that flight. Stop celebrating your birthday. It's not our custom. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 20 and verse 14. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. So Jeremiah said, cursed be the day I was born. Many of us aimlessly and unknowingly celebrate our birthday from year to year to year. And most of us say, oh, I believe, I love God, and I believe in the, I believe in the Bible. But the Bible ain't nowhere in the Bible to tell us to, to uh, celebrate birthdays. Nowhere in the Bible. Read that again. Curse be the day wherein I was born. Then let the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed. So he said, curse be the day that I was born. Let not that day be called blessed. And what we do for what we do on our birthday. Oh, I'm about to turn up. This is the best day. Hey, this is this my day. This is the day. This is the best day of the year. That's idolatry. And the most high God will put you to death for right. celebrating your birthday. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.